Recently, Benny started a Halloween themed build battle. And in today's video, I'm gonna try to get first place and make the best Halloween themed coaster ever. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. I already have a coaster set up for it, but anyways, I'll just kind of tell you the plan. So I wanted the beginning part to be like a scary outside area, like a graveyard, but like a backyard or a front yard. I don't know, it, it's scary. So I'm just gonna place rocks up just around the tracks. And then I need to find like a scary, scary color, scary rock color. So I'll go rough rock and then add in some smaller ones for that extra detail. And while we're at it, I'll just make the track black. And then because I'm lazy, I'm going to copy it instead of actually putting time and effort. And then I'll rotate some of the major parts of it. Boom, like that. And now I'm going to add some dead trees some custom ones. So I'll go like this and add some low branches that like curve outwards. And then the final one will be a cone. It, ain't that the spookiest thing ever? I'll have one coming off the side of here and then another cone right here. And then I could, I could do this. You had like bark on the tree. Gotta find a nice spooky color. Pretty weird looking dead tree. We also gotta add some color variants in the rocks. We can just keep copying and pasting the rocks down. I love, I love the copy and paste feature. And I want to maybe try adding like dead bushes. Yeah, like this. Yeah, I can just add some dead trees just to fill in some empty space. Just like this as a nice little background. And I also want to try and make some custom lamp posts. All right, we can add a little like thing here. And I can kind of go all out with the detail because I don't have to worry about an MB limit. So I'll make a little spiral thing like that. Copy it to the other side. All right, now I can add these lights and then two smaller ones on the side. Maybe hit the brightness 1.5 and just see how that looks inside it. I think that looks pretty good. So now I can just copy this all around. All right, and then to hide this thing, just copying it along this wall like that. All right, now I can just populate the area with trees. And then actually, maybe I can make a fence. Okay. All right. I can add some like smaller details. So the first one goes up here and then I'll fix up. I'll fix it up later to make it look nice. Okay. I probably should not have made a fence. This takes insanely long. Okay. This is getting really expensive. $50,000. All right. And then this is just the final fence for this area. Now I know that felt like a short time because this video has to fit a lot into it. But that was about two hours work. Okay, so I'll start with a primitive and make it wooden planks. And I'm gonna crop it right at the second one and then copy them all and copy it to this side. And we can add in a floor and then add like stairs. Then we can add in like a curved roof. And then maybe like two pillars. All right, boom. Now we have to add more of this stuff just to make sure it looks good. All right, and then I think I can make a window out of these lights, maybe. Like this. That's how I make a window. All right, there we go. Now it's officially done. And I can just copy it all. All right, and then I can add like a fence here. And we do the same sort of cone on top, like that. And then I'm thinking I can do custom tiles. Because right now, there's not enough detail. Very crooked and messed up to show that it's like old or something. And then just layer it on top of each other. I love how perfect putting down tiles is. It's so easy. You can get so much done with copy and paste. Oh, and I can also place some up here. Oh yes, my favorite part. We had color variations for some nice detail. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Now I gotta start on the interior. So first off, you gotta have like a rock encasement because if i don't do this then light will just shine through all the walls so now let's get started i want it to kind of feel like doors uh like the roblox game like this i'm gonna start here because this is where i start using basic editor all right now i have the layout done let me go one down and concrete all right now i can make them walls all right now i just grab this wall and copy it around. Just gonna keep copying, pasting the same wall over and over again. All right, now I gotta fix up 
the sides here. All right, the walls are pretty much done. Just got out of roof now. All right, yeah, that color works. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much done. Looks very nice. Good. Long hallway. But first, I gotta add some doors. Gotta make sure it looks like a hotel. So like this, make that a wooden plank. And I'll have them all say 666 because I don't want to have to write individual numbers. Oh wait, maybe I could do this and have it look boarded off like this. So I'm going to take this door and make a lot of variants of it. All right, so I'll add some text that says 666. Gotta find a gold color. And then boom, 666. All right, boom, 666. Oh wait, and then we can just copy the door. Okay, now I have a couple different design variants that I can use. So I'll just group them now. So I'll put them in, just scattered around. Just gonna keep adding in the doors everywhere. All right, now I'm gonna add some chandeliers. So I actually, I don't normally use the chain, but I think just for this could be quite fire. I'm at a cylinder up here, just so it looks like it's hanging from somewhere. And then I go along here. And add them all around. Oh, I think the item limit's gonna kill me. Boom, and boom. Just like this. So I'll use one of these, maybe. Oh my god, the item limit is actually letting me do this. I gotta make it metal. And I can make these lights white now. Oh, okay, that looks really good. Oh my god, this is so aesthetic. I did not expect this to work so well. I thought I'd have to, like, change it. Oh, I do have to get them to flicker, though. All right, and then right around here, I'll have it start flickering. Oh my god, and then this one, this one will be red. It'll start being, like, red. And these one will be flickering like crazy. Oh, and then I have an idea for this one. This one's just gonna be gone. Like, on the floor, all red. The chain is gonna be snapped. This one's gonna be red. And it's like, help! Help me! Oh my god, this is literally... This is better than I could ever ask for. Actually, wait, let me out. All right, I can use the same, like, disgustingness. The first appearance will be here. I can just turn off precision build for this. Just adding dirt all the way around. Trying to make it look nice. Or not nice, I guess. Trying to make it look creepy. All right, now I think I'm gonna have like a lobby. Although I don't know how to make a hotel lobby. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. Now I want the walls here. Or I'm just gonna get stuck. That's, that's a possibility too. Yeah, I can add like a sofa. So I'm just gonna make a nice little room here. This will be like a front desk, maybe? Maybe I can go like marble or granite. So I'll make an old keyboard or old laptop like this. Stack of papers as well. All right, now for the next section. So after you go down, I want like a repeating hallway, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna take this, put it down here for now. All right, now I take this. God, that's blinding. So I'm gonna add like red carpet here. Now I can take this and group it and then do the same for this one. And now I can just copy them all down nicely. Now I can start twisting it for the twist effect. Hopefully this looks good enough. I, I've no, I've never even done anything similar to this, so I have no idea. Gotta make sure everything lines up. Because if one little thing messes up, the whole thing could get ruined. I think. I don't know. Overall, I think this looks pretty, pretty cool. It cannot be. No. <laughs> that took too long to set up. Hopefully that was just a small little issue. That will never happen again, please. Please don't happen again. I don't even know which way is what anymore. This is so confusing. But damn, does that look cool. Okay, so I'm gonna put like some grass over it so that, you know, the, the light doesn't leak through. And then I'm gonna add like a black, like, floor. Yeah, so like just like this, all over the walls. And then add a roof like this. All right, now I'm gonna grab this painting again. Now I've got to add a spotlight, because you can't actually see that. All right, now i got to add another one, just right around here. All right, and then make it that painting. So yeah, now you fly through, and you're oh, wow, that's pretty insane. All right, now I add another painting here. So yeah, now when you go through here, you're just, like, presented with painting. Okay, wait, I have a really funny idea. I'm going to put this here, and then, wait, and then this. <laughs> Uh, that, that's pretty funny. You can't even see it though also, so that's pretty good. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do for this room, but I'll I'll just start. I do know I want to have some stairs here. So just something like this, and then make it all wood. So I'm gonna go with concrete, and then do a design on the wall, and then same for like the other way. And I know it looks weird, but just trust the process, guys. Yeah, take the table, put it over here. But now I can take the sofa, put it in this room as well. And then my idea was smart. So I take plastic, make it black. 
You might be able to see where I'm going with this, but I go like this underneath the track and then have little pieces coming out like this. Trust the process, guys, but I can do this. You're not, you're not expecting this. Out of everything you're expecting, it's not gonna be this. That looks pretty cool. So you go like this. Aren't I a genius, guys? Yeah, th this is gonna look amazing by the end of this. I have something that will really, really make me win this competition. Flying pieces. Yes, aren't I the, aren't I the geniusest? This is the most insane room. I've literally never been proud of myself. I'm not joking. And I'm gonna do a, like a couple prototypes, or not prototypes, like things that I can just copy. It's like this, and just have groups of paper scattered around. So now I can take all these, group it, and put it in. I can do a couple more doors here and there. And then, oh yeah, we can add some paintings in again. Maybe this painting. This painting's really forgettable, so it'll look new. So I can flip it, so cool. And then we can use this painting again, just cause like it's so fast, you already forgot it in the beginning. Whoa, look at this cool room with all these cool effects. I bet there's so much decorated in the middle. And boom, we got a nice little, two nice little areas. And then slightly rotate it. I'm gonna have to AFK overnight again to get my money. All right, I'm done with the this curve. I don't know what happened here, but I have something really interesting planned. It's gonna be like a non-stop corridor of door, like a door. Okay, so I'm gonna make the this out of fabric. Make it like this color. I uh, have the roof be wooden planks, and then I'm gonna try to make the walls be like like a like a wallpaper, and then make little one fourth pieces. Bring it out a bit. So yeah, like this. Boom, 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 boom. And it will be like a rose gold color. Okay, we can add a little wood part right here coming up and then a bigger one and then put this thing on the top here all right now i add the door and then make doorknobs out of uh this and then maybe we can take the sofa and then we kind of gotta like make it look broken and then put the legs sticking out here and putting this on the floor like a piece broke off and then i think that's done for the room and we can just copy that a zillion times. All right, boom, finally. So I can take this main rock selection. So I can go like this. And I think I can just keep copying it because I literally don't care. Okay, so you go here and then I want to have like de-rooted trees. Like, and then put it in the sky here. And then I make it look like dirt is falling off it. Or no, like, like it, it got ripped out of the ground. Boom here, and then some bigger ones that are still connected. And then we can still go with the street lights, just for lights. And we can go with the fences and have all the fences floating. So they're all nicely floating. So I'm gonna do more fences like this. We can add some of these flying around. I don't know why they'd be flying, but they are now. Oh, and then we can do some rocks, flying rocks. And then some like rocks coming off under it as like a little effect that it's falling. God, this is expensive. It never said winning would be easy. All right, now I can add more rocks. Floating rocks. Ain't that the coolest thing you've ever seen? All right, I'll just do what I can with my last bit of money. All right, so I got a bit of money now. So now I'm just gonna place these all around. Some on this side as well. But now I can just add in all the decoration here. Add some rocks in. Or floating rocks. Oh, and then maybe we could have, like, one go through a fence. Like this. Alright, boom. Now this part's done. And we can go like this. And then I'm on top, just in case. And then to cover it better, I'll just do some rocks. Alright, so now it's like you go into, like, a tunnel. And you go straight into this part. And over time, I want this hallway to get more, like, destroyed. But not like the first one. Like, like a void. Like, it's gonna be, like, parts flying with, like, black, you know. I can just keep copying it and copying it for a bit for this turn. Okay, the hallway looks a bit screwed up now, but whatever. All right, boom. So it looks like this. That's pretty cool. All right, and now this turn. All right, we're almost done here. And then make, like, a black box here. All right, and now I'm gonna start with the effect that happens here by making, like, blackness creep through. So cool. So I'm gonna start right here, flatten it, make sure it aligns. Kind of like this. 
like a just kind of bland but kind of cool effect and then have like some pieces flying kind of coming off of the wall like this this part right here this wall is just gonna be like gone and there'll be black behind it so you can't actually see anything and then make this look like it's falling apart and then the things around it also being kind of screwed up and this being like sucked in and this part just being also kind of like like this so I'll just make a separate thing on the side that I can kind of just copy and paste. So now I can copy all that and paste it. Okay, so now I want to try and do a, a, like a library. So I think I can steal this same room, but then like the wall is from it. And I put it in this room, maybe like this. So now the bookshelf should be about this big. So I'll make it out here. Some bigger ones on the bottom. And now for the books. And we go like this, one falling over, all right? And then some smaller ones down here. And then copy all of them and just put it down here. And then we can add some different colors. All right, now I have a bookshelf. All right, and then I can just copy it in. Oh, we can also have some books floating. All right, and now I have a whole bunch of books that I can copy. All right, now it looks like the book like lost its paper. Yeah, really cool. We can add more paintings in, and we can add some books on the floor. And then maybe we can add in the same, like, tiles coming up effect. Okay, I think I could maybe do it, like, a bit, but not too much. And just put this thing all around everywhere. And I can maybe have some of these be floating. I can put more books next to these bookshelves, just so it looks like there's books falling out. I think I should make a custom, like, lamp or something for this area. So I think I can just take this and then detail it out here. So I add some details like this. What? Are you joking? I got kicked. Oh, oops. Uh, but right now I'm gonna add the transition here. Cause right now there's no transition. Okay, right, so I'll just add it in here and just copy all of these little rooms down. And then they'll eventually lead to a door. So you go like this and you enter the doorway and then you go into the, this room. And so now I'm gonna add in the lights. All right, and then I think that's the library pretty much done. And then here it goes into a hallway that's black and white. Now, so I take that and then I just go to the same gray level. Yeah, now that just looks like a gray version of the normal one. And hopefully it works, you know? Cause there's a chance that it just looks awful. All right, now I can just keep copying the, the black and white hallway. All right, and then, yeah, that's it for the whole tunnel. And now this last part is just going to be more of this. One here, and then one on the other side. All right, almost done. All right, last piece. And then we're pretty much done. And now we can just add trees and decoration and whatnot. Now some street lights, just all around everywhere. And now that it's finished, here is the on-ride experience. 